Hello, and welcome back to this playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition with our Angry Elf Inquisitor. Well, I was thinking about starting the Descent DLC. I, I like that DLC. Uh, the Jaws of Hackman one is kind of like, eh. Uh, but I do like the Descent one. But I was going to put a superb cleansing rune on my uh, staff because, of course, we deal with all these Darkspawn. Then I found out I don't have enough Revenant hearts, and I know where to get one. So, rather than going right into the Descent thing, and of course we won't be going right into the Descent thing, what I, I need to do Iron Bulls thing first. Uh, I want to go to the Cradle of Sullivan, uh, to because there's some rev uh, Revenants there, and I need Revenant hearts, or helmets, or something or other. But I know there's a bunch of revenants there that we can kill. Uh, and then there was another uh, elven ruin. Uh, it's in the Emerald Graves. I can't even remember what the name of it is. Dinan, Hanin, or something. Anyway, I was thinking it might be good to do that uh, so that I can get the history of. Uh, red crossing the start of the war against the elves in the dales and turn it into the keeper there at the dalish camp in the exalted plains and then there's also one little quest um, that I've never done before in the hinterlands that I want to do So it turns out there's a bunch of stuff to do before going down into the deep roads. Uh, need to check on our advisors, see what they're doing. Who else is reporting in? Is anybody reporting in? No, no, oh, over here. Uh, yeah, we want, I just wanted to get that out of the way, off the map. Thank God, it's off the map. All right. Um, go with Josephine. I was thinking about going with Liliana for that, but eh, whatever. Okay, we did that.
well, I think I'm going to try out uh, Josephine's solution there. Ooh, I want to do this. <clears throat> I think Josephine. Sounds good. Give it that to Liliana. Oh, I wanted to do this too. Oh well. What can you do, Colin? Oh really? Okay. kind of surprised that uh, Colin was the only one that was uh, available for that one so yeah put him to work <laughs> all right um, like I said there's a tiny quest I think it's tiny never done it before here in the hinterlands so we want to do that let's take out Dorian Barrack. And, uh, Iron Ball.
Replace Philandrus. Okay, big deal. Now, is there like some loot? Loot to be had? That's it? Seriously, that's all there is to it? Is it done? Is our quest done? I guess it's done. It's like, pfft, who cares? It's not interesting. What a stupid quest. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, like I said, uh, I need some Revenant Hearts. Um, yeah, here we go. So, I need access to the Cradles of Sullivan. I didn't pick this up before because I was like, eh, we'll just skip it. Who cares? But now, I'm like, well, I want some Revenant Hearts or whatever they are. Oh, and you know what? After this, I'm going to go over to the Emerald Graves. I think I want to switch out uh, Dorian with Solus. So we'll do that while we're at the camp here. And then, after we get our... No... Is everybody uh, topped up? Eh. Now they are. Um, let's see. I'm going to change Solus for Dorian. Let's stick with Varric. Let's go with Blackwall and Solus. Oh, we could go this way. Let's go this way. It's faster. You guys are back? It was just an infinite spawn.
Oh man, it'd be nice if your character could learn to pick up their feet. Constantly happen to jump over everything. Here we go. Find the cradle of Solivium. All right. Well, we will do that. Oh, wait a minute. Can we? We can't go that way anyway. Um. We'll do that in the next episode as our first operation. For now, what we want to do is go over here. Because I want to get this thing and turn it into the keeper of that Dalish clan. And see if the dial <gasps> logs any different for being a Dalish handing in this stuff to some fellow Dalish It's Taven's party. Looks like they tried to fight back, but most were unarmed. Poor buggers. Never stood a chance. There should be Inquisition soldiers here. Oh, is Blackwall leveling? I think so. Check on Black Wall. You guys, got anything to say? Okay, Solus has a point. Okay, that's built out. Go for that. Blackwall's got three whole points. Jeez. <laughs> what does this do? I don't like asleep, panicked, stunned, any of that crap, because it's like, as soon as they get hit by something, they're like, they're unpanicked, asleep, stunned, whatever, and I can't, I'm not going to be micromanaging all my crew to make sure they don't hit them, it's like, so screw it, I'm not interested. Have I got anything turned off for you? All right. Well, 
What is this stuff down here too? It's charging ball. Now let's give him that, just in case he uses that, I don't know. Alright. These are our men. There's something up there. Get, get. Get out of the way. Get. What is this? It's stupid is what it is. Looks like a trebuchet rock. But trebuchets wouldn't have been around when the Dales fell. Because they fell soon after the second blight. And from what we know about Adamant, it was built around the time of the second blight. And trebuchets did not exist at that time. The Emerald Knights. They once patrolled the borders of the Dales, protecting the elven people. The Dalish saw them as romantic heroes. The Chantry called them ruthless butchers. I suspect both sides have some element of truth.
Aha! Look at this! Alright! Do you approve? I don't know. Corypheus's men had part of a seal. Do they even know what it opens? Whatever it is, it wasn't worth killing those elves. Down. I don't think we were down there. I don't know. Well, that looks kind of toxic. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. It's probably immune. I'll get back to you in a minute. Hmm. How do we go down? Ooh. Is this the way down? It is. Well, I think maybe we should kill this guy first.
We don't really need this, do we? Nah, I didn't think so. Hey, I told you we'd get back to you, okay? So here we are. Alright, are you happy? Mosaic piece. What about downstairs? Was there a door downstairs? I don't remember. Oh, it's blocked, isn't it? Yeah, it's blocked. Arlathan, part one. Before the ages were named or numbered, our people were glorious and eternal and never changing. Like the great oak tree, they were constant in their traditions, strong in their roots, and ever reaching for the sky. They felt no need to rush when life was endless. They worshipped their gods for months at a time. Decisions came after decades of debate. An introduction could last for years. From time to time, our ancestors would drift into centuries-long slumber, but this was not death, for we know they wandered the fade in dreams. In those ages, our people called all the land Elvenan, which in the old language means place of our people. And at the center of the world stood the great city of Arlathan, a place of knowledge and debate, where the best of the ancient elves would go to trade knowledge, greet old friends, and settle disputes that had gone on for millennia. But while our ancestors were caught up, in the forever cycle of ages, drifting through life at what we today would consider an intolerable pace, the world outside the lush forests and ancient trees was changing. Humans first arrived from Parvulan to the north, called Shemlin or Quicklings, and that's, I guess, why uh, that guy called our Inquisitor a Shemlin. By the ancients, the humans were pitiful creatures whose lives blinked by in an instant. When they first met the elves, the humans were brash and warlike, quick to anger and quicker to fight, with no patience for the unhurried pace of elven diplomacy. But the humans brought worse things. Then war with them our ancestors proved susceptible to human diseases, and for the first time in history, elves died of natural causes. What's more, those elves who spent time bartering and negotiating with humans found themselves aging, tainted by the humans' brash and impatient lives. Many believed that the ancient gods had judged them down among the uh, judged them unworthy of their long lives and cast them down among the quicklings. 
Our ancestors came to look upon the humans as parasites, which I understand is similar to the way that humans see our people in the cities. The ancient elves immediately moved to close Elvenan off from the humans for fear that this quickening effect would crumble the civilization. Of course, we know it was actually Solus right over there who caused elves to become mortal. Quicker, Varric. here. Ah, there's something over there. Hmm. Money! Not much, but some anyway. How do we get back? How do we go down? I don't think we want to go down there right now. Because I think we are going to end up down there anyway, so... I don't think we want to go down right now. Do I need you? Epitaphs for the lost.
Come on, where is it? Did we get it? I saw it. At one time. Light up. I must we must have got it. Maybe it was just money. Points over this way. Is it below us? Hmm. I don't know. Could you throw up someplace else? <gasps> we can read this. Let's go read this. Oh, we gotta get around to it. Can we go around here? I thought there was something else showing up. Besides my torch. And now it, even the torch is not showing up. Did it just disappear? It did. These guys didn't leave nothing. Really, they didn't leave nothing.
boots over here? Nothing. Okay. Thought I just saw a wall we could bash. Another of the elven artifacts. Oh, you and your feelings. The walls are working. It should be harder for tears to form here. Yeah, until you unleash your master plan, right? These, I'm convinced these artifacts that he constantly feels are something he made. You ask, what happened to Arlathan? Sadly, we do not know. I do. Even those of us who keep the ancient lore have no record of what truly happened. What we have are accounts of the days before the fall and a fable of the whims of the gods. The human world was changing even as the elves slept. Clans and tribes gave way to a powerful empire called Tevinter, which, and for what reason we do not know, moved to conquer Elvanon. When they reached the great city of Arlanon, our people, fearful of disease and loss of immortality, chose to flee rather than fight. With magic demons and even dragons at their behest, the Tevinter Empire marched easily through Arlathan, destroying homes and galleries, and amphitheaters that had stood for ages. Our people were corralled as slaves, and human contact quickened their ears, their veins, until every captured elf turned mortal. The elves called to their ancient gods, but there was no answer. As to why the gods didn't answer, our people left only a legend. They say that Fenharel, the dread wolf, and lord of tricksters, approached the ancient gods of good and evil and proposed a truce the gods of good would remove themselves to heaven and the lords of evil would exile themselves to the abyss neither group ever again to enter the other's lands but the gods did not know that Fenerel had planned to betray them and by the, by the time they realized the dread wolf's treachery they were sealed in their respective realms never again to interact with the mortal world is a fable to be sure, but those elves who travel the beyond claim that Fenrel still roams the world of dreams, keeping watch over the gods lest they escape from their prisons. Whatever the case, Arlathan had fallen to the very humans our people had once considered mere pests. It is said that the Tevinter Magisters used their great destructive power to force the very ground to swallow Arlathan whole, destroying eons of collected knowledge, culture, and art. The whole of elven lore left only to memory. The icicle. Let's go down. Oh, we're just looking at those, right? This doesn't go anywhere.
Let's see. Let's go this way first. Because we have to come back, I think, if I remember correctly. There's nothing in there, right? Right? Could be. I don't know. Give me your loot. Give me, give me. There's a locked door over where? Or no? For some reason, the locked doors never show up as not being locked, right? This door is right above us. It's right there. Yeah, okay. I knew you were coming for me. <laughs> I saw you go invisible. Haven hope to find its hair. Oh, not in that way. It's not very good. <clears throat> it's kind of cool. None of this stuff's very good. Checking around for loot first. Ooh. 
All right, let's uh, begin the process. Oh, I thought there was a glyph there, I read. I think we want to wait until it lifts up to go check out what's down there. I think. I think so. <gasps> no, no, no. I thought that was loot. No, no. All right. Next. <laughs> Next! Oh, did you guys leave any loot? Yes, you did. Have we got a revenant coming at us? I needed one of those. Thought we were gonna get a revenant thingy. This is not very good. <gasps> On hit, gain three guard. Now that actually m might make it very good. I want to check out what my other folk have. Mm-hmm. 
And this is a history of Red Crossing, right? Or is this it? No. Or, oh, oh, wait a minute. What about this? Is this it? Ah, uh, this is it. It's an account of Red Crossing. When the elves attacked that town, it prompted the exalted march of the Dales. Taven would want the Dalish to have this. The elves don't come across in the best light here. Maybe we should let them stick with their old stories. I imagine the Chantry would be interested in it as well. Why would I give it to the Chantry? What do I care about the Chantry, huh? Is there anything down here? No? Oh well. Well, let's go give that to... I think Solus says his name was Taven? I lit you. Oh, you are lit. I lit all these, yeah. We got a revenant, but I didn't get the revenant heart or whatever it was I need for my cleansing rooms. So that's kind of poo. All right. I want to know where the Elven that Solus was talking about are still around. I don't know where they are. And I don't know why any Elves would necessarily want to join up with Solus. He's going to, he doesn't think of them as people. And... I mean, they're not Elven, according to him. They're Shemlin. They're, they're Quicklings. Um... I don't like the humans either. Maybe they, maybe they're like the uh, Order of Fiery Promise. Well, let's just end the frickin' world because it sucks so bad. All right, let's but let's go give it to him. Uh, it's over here. Let's go here. We want to go here to the Dalish camp. find him. Should be over here. Ah, oh, here you are. Harold, you are at home. I found something about Red Crossing in Danan Hanin. You explored Danan Hanin? Remarkable. So many have tried and failed. If you went to the Emerald Graves, did you see Tavern and the others? They were killed. I'm sorry. I am too. 
Sorry, but not surprised. Thank you for bringing this to me. It is part of our tale. It will be cherished. Dareth Shiral, Dareth. Dareth Shiral. Alright, well, we gained some more favor, but I don't really care. I don't think this is a quest that I care about. I mean, it'd be nice if it actually opened up something more. Uh, I don't know, new storylines or something, but it doesn't really do anything for you. Anyway, that's enough for this episode. Until next time, have a nice day.